Paul, this walk out of the Walkleys is being led by cartoonists. When did cartoonists become so woke? Um, probably um, about the time that I got out of cartooning. But look, there's two basic boxes that you need to tick as a cartoonist. The first one is you need to be able to draw. The second one is you have to be funny, okay? So these particular cartoonists don't, these days, don't tick any of those boxes. So they've had to devise a new box. And, and that box is that you have to own a set of pearls and you have to clutch them. <laughs> and you, that's the only box you need to tick. Any cartoonist that can draw or is funny is not eligible to enter the Wokeleys. So you might have noticed there's been a subtle change in the title of the awards. These days, pretty much the criteria is that you need to be offended first and then you have to virtue signal your offence and it, it gets down to being to, to seeing who, who can be the most of, um, offended person eligible to draw a cartoon. Well, speaking of offence, I mean, this is the weird thing about wokeness, if you ask me. I mean, last week we saw Stan Grant call the ABC irredeemably racist, essentially. This is despite the ABC being agonisingly anti-racist and inclusive. And now we've got the Walkleys being boycotted by the very people who the Walkleys reward every year. Now, do you think wokeness will just one day just eat itself? It, it has to eat itself. It's the foolishness of it that even those who are the most woke are turning on themselves. They're offended by their own type. And, and this is the joke in itself. 